Hello, today I'm going to be testing Microsoft Security Essentials uh, versus Avira versus Avast versus AVG. Um, I'm just uh, in the midst of uh, updating them all. The date is uh, April 12th, 2010. Um, I'll be right back once it, uh, once it finishes updating. Actually, here we go. Start update. Go over to Avast. Right click, update, go over to AVG, and update that as well. Um, I'm going to be changing some of the settings and some of the antiviruses. I'm just going to go through them and see which, uh, which ones can change and have a bit more security. Um, I believe Avast will probably take the take the best on this one it usually does but uh, these are the lower end free um, antivirus testing stuff so this is kinda like okay let's say you don't want to spend any money and you don't want the technicality of Komodo um, these are among you know the ones that I would look into if you're gonna try and uh, you know just keeps you up to date and uh, hopefully this makes it so that you don't have to worry about it but anyway I'll be right back once it finishes updating. Alright, so uh, we're back and uh, it looks as if they are completely fully up to date. Everything actually looks good. Um, Alright, so in AVG I'm just going to open it up. And I'm going to see if there's any settings that I can change in it. I don't believe there actually is. Um, AVG is an antivirus that I used to use. It uh, it was alright for a uh, simple user. Um, didn't ask a whole lot of questions. It was very easy to use. Um, the Avast is uh, probably among the better ones that I'm going to be testing today. Um, I'm going to be opening that up as well. Um, some of the things that I'm going to be switching is Network Shield to High. Um, I'm going to be going down and changing the Standard Shield to High as well. The Web Shield to High. And uh, that way it's a little bit more protective on those type of things. So that's the changes that I did to Avast. Other than that, it's a stock install. Um, in the Avira, I'm going to go to Extras Configuration. And I'm going to go to the uh, General. I'm going to select All for the General Threats. Just uh, to make note, they have stupid things in here like games and jokes. Um, by default, people are going to uh, always, of course, not have that checked off. So I'm going to keep that unchecked. But I wanted to uh, specifically note in here that uh, fraudulent software does not come default checked. And I don't like that. So uh, everything else seems to be up to, uh, you know, up to whatever it can do. So those are the changes that I'm doing with Avira. Uh, Microsoft is actually pretty much up to date. The only thing that you can change is the advanced membership. And all that does is help Microsoft make their product better. It doesn't really do anything as far as increase the protection level. But, uh, yeah, Microsoft already comes pre-set up pretty much as secure as it can be, which is good. That's what I want to see. Um, I like it whenever, you know, they're all set up and ready to go. Um, so, good job on that. But uh, we'll see what does the best. Um, and the only thing in here is the Resident Shield. Um, you know, scan for tracking cookies. Report enhanced potentially unwanted. Um, and auto heal. Um, I'm going to enable all those. There's not really anything else that I can change in here that would do it. But other than that, it's a default setup. So that's my setup. They're all exactly the same. Every uh, virtual machine test that I do with multiple antiviruses, are I start with one clean, uh, no antivirus virtual machine. And then what I do is I uh, make sure it's completely up to date, that it's uh, ready to go. And then what I will do is I'll right click on it and I'll clone it. Okay, and that way there's another one. And then what I'll do with this one is change the name of the computer so that it doesn't conflict with the IP address or with the uh, with the name of the computer. And uh, then I'll clone it again and so on and so forth until I have enough virtual machines. Then I will download the software for this, all from SoftPDL, all the same website, so it's clean. And uh, I'll run CCleaner afterwards. That way they're all exactly the same. They all have completely, you know, uh, the exact parameters. And uh, there's no if, ands, or buts whether or not one does better than the other. It's uh, it's very clear to see. 
which one uh, which one will boast the other ones. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be uh, testing these with zero day viruses on uh, malware and domain list. Um, it's going to test uh, test all these out hopefully, and uh, we'll see which one comes out on top. I would suspect that uh, again I I don't want to be too forward with it, but uh, I do figure that Avast will probably have the upper hand on most of these things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start testing. Um, I'm going to do it a little bit differently today um, because these are usually generally weaker antiviruses. I'm going to be saving them to the desktop and then running them. Um, the antivirus will delete it from being saved to the desktop if it detects it. So I can count how many it lets through versus how, ma how many it doesn't and go on from there. Uh, sorry, it seems that today we got a few duds in the uh, list, which is a good thing. means that uh, there's nothing to really worry about out there, that they're catching them and that they're removing the viruses, which is what should be happening, right? So I'm going to actually uh, keep going down until I find one that's good here. And then we'll throw that one to the test. All right, so here's our first one. Save it to the desktop. I can't uh, copy or read from source disk, so this is AVG blocking that. All right, so I'm going to do the same one on this one here. This is a vast. I'm open that up. Let's see what happens. All right, so it actually stopped this. All right, so that's a vast that stopped it as well. Now we're going to test a vira and try saving that to the desktop. And a virus stopped it. And Microsoft Security Essentials. We'll save that to the desktop. And I'm not too sure if that actually saved it. It actually did. So let's double click that and run it. Alright, so um, Microsoft uh, seems to have let that one through, whereas the other three did not. So let's go on to the next one. Um, Let's try this one, see if this one's a dud link. Try s uh, yeah, no, that one won't work for us. Alright, let's try this one. Again, same problem. Let's try this one here. Alright, so let's save this to the desktop. And it's saved, let's run it. And that one seems to have gotten through AVG system. So that one is a Zeus V2 Trojan. Alright, let's try a VAST, see what it does. Save that. Run that. Now it's interesting. It actually uh, okay. No, that's just the setup for the uh, for the Avast. But it does look like uh, that that virus did get through on Avast as well. So we have both AVG and Avast infected with this particular virus. We're gonna try a vira. All right. So we'll try that. And then run that. Run. Alright, it looks like Avira will let that one through as well. Yeah, it's uh, definitely interesting. I'm going to try and, as best as I can, I'm going to definitely try to, uh, to stop this virus from infecting. So anything I can do to personally make this a little better, to make the right decisions, I will definitely do. So this is uh, Microsoft Security Essentials, and which one was this? It's this one here. Let's run that. Oh wait, that was the old one. Sorry, that'll be this one here. Let's 
when Microsoft got infected.